world and everybody in the Google group. Today is the 20th of May and my objective for week 3 is completed. So here is uh, my standard bearer and what I have done since the last time is I um, did a green wash on the severed heads to make them look really disgusting and rotting. And it did uh, the metallics on the standard. I did some washes on the metallics. I also did some washes on the skulls. And I also highlighted them before that. On the, uh, on the Plague Bearer, I did some black washes in the deeper recesses of the wounds. And also in the mouth and the eyes. And I did that for the rest of them as well. And I'll show you all of them today. So that you can see what they all look like. Mm. Maggots in the mouth. My favorite elephantitis leg with the noodling in the belly. This guy with the cool horns and the little round eyes. Excuse my dog's barking. In the background, we have a lot of people coming up and down our driveway at the moment. Doing stuff with our cow shed. Mm, the fly head. One of my favorites. Mm hmm. Of this guy's pockmarked body or her pockmarked body. And this one's open mouth and all those intestines hanging out. Very cool. And this one, not sure what kind of head it is, but I like it. Guess like a trunk type head. So my nerglings, which I did end up doing a red wash over the top to kind of bring those layers together. And um, I did their horns, their teeth, their intestines, and some black washes in the red really dark recesses for them and I also did these heads here and the wood of the stakes as well and of course the maggot piles which I just did a brown wash on to finish them off and there'll be more obviously to do on them so today is the uh, week three wrap up. <clears throat> I don't mind it being a day early. It doesn't really matter to me because uh, my objective is complete as I said before. Um, and of course the question of the day is did I complete my objective? Yes I did. Uh, level 4's describe the narrative momentum of your fluff. Well, no, I won't be doing that because as I usually do, I'll be doing a separate fluff video for that. So, I will quickly move on to my shoutouts for today. Which, uh, I have um, a friend on YouTube who's just started up a new channel. And his name is Mini Scratcher. I will link his channel down below. Um, and... I think that if you're interested in what he's doing, which is um, he's going to be recording his process and uh, throughout um, 
creating a diorama based on a horror movie. So if you like horror movies and you like gore, um, and I, I'm pretty sure it's based on the first Jeepers Creepers movie, so if you like that movie, uh, go and take a look at Steve's channel. I think that uh, it's very cool. He, he scratch builds, so he builds things from scratch. And if you like that kind of stuff, go go and check him out. He's got some interesting ideas. His uh, first attempts at scratch building were really fantastic, detailed work. Um, he's been doing some things with some sculpting. Um, he's also been doing some cool things with um, uh, found items um, from nature, so things from his backyard. And they're looking really awesome. So if you like horror movies, blood, guts, and gore, um, dioramas, uh, an old vehicle he's going to be doing and weathering that, uh, go and take a look at his channel. I think it's going to be really interesting um, and really creative, and it's going to be a cool journey to follow. So go and support him if you're interested in that. Subscribe. Uh, my second uh, shout-out is to uh, Joshua Duran, who... Uh, has been kind of filming on and off, and I just wanted to say, you know, come on, uh, buddy, let's go and get stuck back into it. I know that this uh, is kind of t getting a bit tedious. I'm losing focus too with the challenge, and I, I don't really find the motivation to paint every day, but then I go online and I see everybody's videos and comments, and I think, you know, you've got you've got to kind of get in there and and uh, keep everybody motivated by filming yourself and um, keep going. Uh, I think, you know, try and complete the challenge with a bang and film every day and continue on uh, until the end and we'll all celebrate together. <laughs> so that leads me to my third um, shout out which is to another one of my boot camp friends Jamjar34 who has been stoic and dedicated um, in filming every single day uh, he's been so motivating and making co you know comments on almost everybody's videos I just think he is such a trooper and finding the time to watch so many videos and comments and he's doing a great job at ke keeping everybody motivated and um, you know carry on going and, and being very supportive of everyone so thank you Jam Jar and if you haven't uh, checked out his channel go ahead he's doing some white lions I know that he's not made a lot of progress I don't think in the last few days but I think that he should push on through so that I said, like I said for Joshua, let's finish with a bang and celebrate together in the challenge. It doesn't matter if you finish, let's just make some progress, uh, change your goals, um, and let's complete this together. We started it together, so let's complete it together. So let's go. So, uh, as always, I uh, would like to give a shout out to Grandmaster Painter. If you haven't already subscribed to his channel, he's doing a giveaway and you need to be a part of the May Painting Challenge to be in to win. So, go and check him out and subscribe. Okay, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.